Welcome to my fourth video about Google BigQuery for marketers. Many of you wanted me to continue this video series and dive deeper into this topic. In this video, I will go back to more basic functions of BigQuery. You will learn how to use count and count distinct group by. I will also show you how to search for any standard SQL functions that you may need. Hello there, welcome to Ads Courses. I will teach you the best PPC and web analytics strategies and secrets. If you want to support this channel, subscribe and share it. Okay, so let's dive in. Okay, so let's learn some basics today. Let's start with count function, which is like very easy, but you can use it in a various different situations. Okay, so I will show you this on a data set from Google Political Ads from BigQuery public data set. If you don't know how to get access to this public data in BigQuery, you can watch my other videos where I describe this with details. And it's right here. So just click on this table and you can query the table. Okay. Let's just get rid of this limit here. Okay. If we go to the details in here, you can see that this is a small table actually. If you go to the preview, you can see the actual data. It's very, very simple. You've got, you know, like election cycle, report date, keyword one, spend, keyword two, spend, keyword three, spend, region, election, which are only one, I think. And it's for US. Very simple data, uh, but good to actually show how to use this count function. If you go to the details here, you will see that in the table information that we have number of rows, it's 65. In this table only 65 rows so it's very small but you can actually count this number using a uh, sql and to do this you simply write count and if you want to count all the rows all the data you just write it like this in the bracelet and it will just give you the number okay so let's run this query and as you can see it's 65 it's the same number this is this may seem weird for you but this is just the column name because we didn't add the alias to it right because we count something so we create uh, another column which counts the number of rows uh, but we didn't alias it so we can do this now you simply do this like this so it as and you give it a name you can give it a name whatever you want it can be like number of rows right and if you run this query now you will see that this column will actually have this name number of rows okay so it's very easy and you can do the same use the count function to uh, selected fields okay so we have this table and we have this all of these fields right there is a list in here so let's say we want to count the keyword one so let's do this underneath so let's do you we are using the same function count function but instead of writing it like that we just use the field name we can press the tab for help and we can name this also like oh let's not name it right now and think about what will this actually counts Will it actually count the number of keyword one, the individual keywords, right? Because you can see that they are repetitive here. Actually, there are only a few of them, unique keywords one, or it will or it will count the unique number of keywords. So let's see. And as you can see, it counts the actual number of rows. So it doesn't count the keyword. Actually, it counts the number of rows of this field. So we can name it keyword rows right okay so what if you want to count the individual unique number of keywords one or any other field right because as you can see they are repetitive here and there are only few okay in this table it's actually pretty easy to calculate like one two three four unique keywords one but maybe you're working on a more complicated table right this is very easy to do so we just write count and now in the bracelet distinct and now we can just you know, copy this. Let's name it keyword one number. Okay. And this should actually calculate the unique number of keywords, right? The distinct number of keywords. We are using count distinct function. Okay. We've got keywords one row and we've got keyword one number, which is four. You know, we've got four unique keywords here. And you can do this with different fields. So let's say we want to count distinct election cycle from this same table which is actually only one i think if we go to the preview you know election cycle it's all the same okay let's not forget about the comma you don't have to add the comma at the end the last selection 
and we rank it should have one number of election cycles should be one and it is okay so it's very easy to use the count function and count this thing which is very convenient in many different situations okay just to show you the same on a table maybe more more advanced table like this google analytics sample table which is actually pretty which is actually pretty big okay so there are a lot of fields here as you can see some of them are nested if you don't know what i mean you can watch my other video about this but this will actually be pretty simple i just want to show you the count distinct option here okay so let's just let's just format this we can get rid of this limit okay so we've got this okay if we scroll down for example just to show you there is this field hits page path so let's just oh it's not that it's page path okay so we want to select this let's just format this to be visible for you and as you can see we can't we just can't use it like this because it's nasty i won't describe what it's all about in this video i will just put in this formula which will solve this problem i have another video about this topic and how to actually how it all works so let's just select this hits page path and we will see this data right so we've got our all page paths here okay what if we want to count the distinct number of page paths we just write the same as we did before right and we can run this query and see the results okay so there are 314 different page paths in this data you can alias this like number of page we will name it page path right let's run it again and the name is page path and this is the distinct number of page paths great okay so now i will show you how to use a very convenient function group by okay for this let's work on this table from the public bigquery public data set okay i will just paste this here okay so we will work on this public data set new york trees tree species and these are the fields like species specific name species common name form fall color etc we want to pull out this these fields species common name form and fall color okay from this data set if we go to the preview you can see that this is the species common name it's the scientific name this is the common name right this is the form rounded right pyramidic pyramidal etc and the fall color yellow maroon red Okay, so if we would pull out this data like this, we would pull out the species common name, the form and fall color. This data would look like this. So we would have our fields as separate columns, right? But what you can actually do now is group this data by, because as you can see, there's different species common names, different trees with different forms and with different fall color. And right now it's all actually random chaotic and you can group this by and to do this you simply write the group by after the from part right you can push the tab so it will autofill it for you and we can group by actually all of the fields that we selected for now let's select this one only right and you can't do that right you can because you've got the fall color if we would have only species common name and form and form it will be okay but we also have the fall color now this will work and now you will see what this will actually do for us it actually group this data by right so it groups this data so it will be maybe this example is not the best one right because we've got only one species common name with one form and one fall color but if the the tree would have different forms or different fall colors it may actually have it i don't see it right it would group it for us by by form by fall color by species common name what you can also do is order by order by and let's be like fall color so it will order the data by fall color so alphabetically right so first will be the cream maroon orange red yellow okay so just to show you what i mean the group by how it works it's actually better to do it on this example right so we only select form we don't select the species common name we select form we select fall color and we group by form and fall color and order it by form right and if you run this query you can see that uh, groups by form so we've got pyramidical pyramidical fall color yellow yellow 
right? It's like this. If we wouldn't do the group by and order by, this would look like this. It would be just random, right? So group by also a very convenient function, very simple to use. Okay, so there are many, many different functions in SQL and BigQuery. And it's difficult to actually memorize this all at the beginning, right? Okay, with time you will actually gain experience and you will remember most of them. But actually you don't have to. You just need to remember the basic functions and you can also search for whatever you want on the web. And a good place for this is the documentation of the Google Cloud. I will post a link to this in the description of this video. And you have the standard SQL functions and operators in here. So you can see them with examples, right? So this is like, like the conversion rules, right? So you can use this. You've got the date functions, time functions. It's all categorized here with examples. So this is the best place to actually look into. You also got uh, many different resources like wfreeschools.com where you can also search for different functions right and tutorials and that's it you know very convenient very simple basic functions to learn when you start your journey with bigquery and sql that's it for today i'll continue this video series in my next video so stay tuned if you want to support this channel simply hit the subscribe button now that's all for today see you in my other videos bye